Now, on to the sandblasting box and a few other things. I uh, picked up, um, what is this? I don't even know if they're the same color, but just the right same one. Oh, anyway, I picked up some Town & Country Ford Red paint. The caps don't look the same. This one looks darker, but anyway, the same code number. I picked up some Town & Country paint because my sandblasting box is red. And if you look behind me right here, that's what I painted yesterday. Came out not bad. I'm not looking for the perfect job. It's got all dust all over. It's a sandblasting box. It's not a, it's not a 19 whatever whatever hot rod. So I got that. In the process, I picked up some high heat uh, rust oleum ceramic coating, 2000 degree Fahrenheit, flat black. I'm probably going to paint the <coughs> um, muffler guard on the Honda with that. Which so that these are like I swear. Ford red paint in Canada is like anywhere from 12 to 18 bucks a can and in the states are 6.99 so why would I buy paint in, Can in Canada oh because I want to get ripped off that's why even the Rustoleum, I think I paid 7.99 for this these things are like double and triple the price depending where you go I've, I've seen Rustoleum paint cans for 18 to 20 bucks and I've seen them like 12 to 12 million they're half the price in US Canada your prices suck I also picked up uh, these things you could see nuts bolts and screws it's, um, stainless steel to put on there because on the sandblaster all the nuts and bolts are all rusty so I'm replacing them all the uh, glass you look through like a, a zombie and use your hands that I put rib nuts in so I take the glass out the side of the box I'm putting um, what the hell is it again um, stainless steel bolt nuts and bolt uh, nuts and bolts on the hinges and the top I'm putting screws but the side of the uh, the way the box is made, there's a plastic insert that goes in this. And there's no, like, the plastic's all worn out. So I'm going to cut little blocks of wood in there and glue them in. Probably some epoxy or some, or even wood glue or Gorilla glue. So I can get another, a good bite in them. And I painted, what I'll show you. Well, you can see this right here. I painted one of the hinges. It's uh, not perfect, but I painted both si outsides of the door because the inside... I need to paint the backside, but I don't really think I need to because it's just going back on. I might just put a, a little spot of paint here and paint the whole thing, whatever. I'll clean it off. That's done. Um, tonight, I'm going to give this a good swath of paint, both sides. I'm going to probably... I'm probably going to wire brush, grind this thing just a little, just so it cleans up some of it. It's not a... It's not going to be a perfect job. I just want it to look... I just want it to look red again, you know? I want it to look like a, what do you call it? Make, what was that, those hats, those mega hats? Make sandblasters red again? Yeah, like that's what I'll say. If I had, that'd be a good thing for my channel. I'll get a red hat and put make sandblasters red again. I mean, the one at Harbor Freight's red. <coughs> Why are they red? Can somebody tell me that? How come people paint sandblasters red? I think I've seen some other colors, but I don't remember seeing any, any colors. But anyway, I got, um, 20 bolts. I only need like eight for for eight for the doors, but the latches got to be replaced. I needed two for the switch, which I'm gonna paint over, and I think I might replace all the um, screws on that on the glove part because those look stupid. I'm also thinking that might, I might. I'll probably need some for the the bottom half. So this week I'm gonna work on getting the tub fixed, and then if I can get a nice day that's not humid and rainy and stuff and every time i want to paint it's going to take me a month to paint this thing because when i have free time it's rainy when i'm not have free time i have to either come here two in the morning in the middle of sleep paint it but i i'm it's a sandblasting box so i'm just gonna rip all the pla all the foam stuff off give it a I'll probably paint one side paint the other side paint the other side and just and my other problem is i gotta find a way to move it so i might I don't know. I really don't know how I'm going to paint this thing. It's big and bulky. Like, if you, I'll show you a picture. So, reminder of myself, put a picture up here to show you. Well, you know, if you're watching, you know what a sandblasting box is. This is the big one. It's not a little tiny. It's, I think, a, I don't know. I didn't buy it at Harbor Freight. I bought it like 20 years ago before they made garbage. So, anyway, I got to take all the um, plastic stickers off and all the little foam stuff around it because I'm going to get new foam sticker 
and like I said, I'm, I'm not doing a hot rod paint job. I'm just cleaning it up so it looks nice. After I'm done the box, I'm, I gotta take the sand out of the thing and find a place to put all the glass or dump it somewhere. And I'm gonna work on the bottom. The bottom will probably be next week. This week, I'm got the doors done. I'll put them back together, store them somewhere for now so they don't get wrecked and keep on chucking. So yeah, Ford Red folks, it's getting a Ford Red. The reason why I bought Ford Red, just in case you don't know, I have a Ford tractor. I have a 19, whatever it is. I have a Ford 8N and a Ford 2N. I haven't found the 9N cheap enough. That's why I bought Ford Red. I bought the uh, tractor paint. So there will be a video eventually once I get this out of the way. And why I decided to fix a Honda right now is because it was rotting outside. The Ford tractor has been there for 80 years. It's not going anywhere. It's uh, perfectly fine. So my other one, the two one needs a, a tune-up. It was working, and then somebody messed with it and screwed it up. So anyway, stay tuned. Keep an eye on what I'm doing.